Cobra Kai had the greatest dirt bike uh, gear oh. in Karate Kid. And they worked. You know what? Uh, again, the Cobra Kai, I'll say it a thousand times, the team through and through. You see yeah. the pattern they circled him in on those bikes to like run him off the road? If you really think about it, the Karate Kid's just about a loud dude from New Jersey who came and took someone's girlfriend. He's a dildo. No, you've, well, you've, seen, you've never seen that video? What? You've never seen that video? It's one of the funniest things of all time. What video? The condensed Karate Kid? No. That if you watch the Karate Kid, uh, sorry, it, it, the guy, by the way, the narrator's a genius. <laughs> Um, we watched this on Skanks before. You should watch this right now. It's great. You, if you really think about the Karate Kid, as yeah. you just said, uh, Daniel LaRusso is the piece of shit of that thing. Listen, I'm anyway, Dave from New Jersey. Before we jump in, how about I'm Jay Okerson, you're Dan Soda. Oh, yeah, hey. And you guys are the, the campers. This is the bonfire. You guys are the campers. Uh, Christine, Mark Face, Lou in the house. We are missing, Our we are missing my sweet, sweet... Sweet Mouse Jacob. Our sweet little man mouse. He's sleeping in a matchbox book right now in uh, Florida somewhere. Fifle goes south. <laughs> oh, uh, I wish we had the uh, uh, Once Upon a... What's the fucking name of with Fifle? Once Upon a Time in the Fifle West? Mouse, uh, American Tale. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in the West is a song by Dire Straits. And also the sequel. Fifel goes west. Fifel goes west. That's what it is. Yeah, but nobody watched that one. Dude, I did. Did you watch Lion King too? Lion, there's a Lion King too. I think there was, wasn't there? <laughs> That's hilarious. If there wasn't, you watched it out of Snow Cold Sunday right there. Simba gets his groove back by killing a tourist oh, there we go. on safari. Um, Is this it? Yeah, uh, Lou. By could, the way, I will. Please? I will say, uh, being someone named Daniel, born in the early '80s, The Karate Kid was probably one, the most important movie of my childhood. Oh yeah, and it's and still, I had brown hair, and it was like really the first I time. I still get goosebumps uh, at the kick. Daniel Larusso's gonna fight. Daniel LaRusso's gonna fight! Daniel LaRusso's gonna fight? Daniel LaRusso's gonna fight! I want people to do that and bring me up uh, at, uh, at like the stand or the cellar. <laughs> Dan Soder's gonna do a set? Dan Soder's gonna do a goes, set! Alright, we have our final comic in the evening. Uh, you may have seen... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Dan Soder's gonna go on. <laughs> Dan Soder's gonna go on! I could have Elizabeth Shoe run out and stop <laughs> in her blue skirt. Just now, shows me doing punchlines. This is a great. Uh, Lou, different, can, different. can you put up uh, the YouTube so we can hear YouTube, Lou? Is it up? Go ahead, play this. Roddy Kid is the story of Daniel, a violent sociopath who moves to a California town and begins tormenting a local boy and his friends. Johnny is a high school senior with a commitment to atone for past mistakes and move his life forward in a positive direction. So, ex degenerate man, 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm a senior. I've got one year to make it all work. And that's what I'm going to do make it work. They are destined to meet when Daniel's neighbor invites him to a beach party, where he becomes instantly obsessed with Johnny's newly ex-girlfriend, Allie. Hi. After a courtship ritual consisting solely of creepy, unbroken eye contact, he approaches her, <laughs> only to be summarily rebuffed. Johnny arrives to patch things up with Allie, but the discussion becomes heated. Well, I want to talk to you, all right? Pause it for well, a second. I want to be clear. And it's great, because you really, like... It's just someone taking a different perspective. <laughs> and and different by the way, angle. when they do this, what it's you're they're right. Yeah. Go ahead. About this, what Johnny is doing is not okay, and he should respect her wish to be left alone. Johnny is, in the end, a flawed hero. <laughs> but one thing he is definitely not doing is getting violent. Daniel, however, seeing an opportunity <laughs> to insert himself into Allie's life, chooses to escalate the situation, demanding the return of Allie's radio. Frustrated and heartbroken, Johnny complies with Daniel's request and in the heat of the moment, pushes him down. Daniel now has the hold radio on, hold and on, Allie... Pause it. This is like, uh, this is the equivalent again. Now, if I'm representing the LaRusso family in court, <laughs> I'm saying this is a little slanted. This is, I see what he's doing, but he's also lawyer. He's like giving it like the, no, la he's the lawyer treatment. Up, but, there, but I'll tell yeah. you what, there's a scene coming up he's going to show you that you'll remember. This is like making a murderer with Daniel <laughs> LaRusso. <is>. Right <laughs> <laughs> Making a crane kick. Making a human weapon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been waiting to get back at the United <laughs> States. <laughs> he's just fucking. Ever since the army he took his wife and kid, uh, apparently, or yeah. his pregnant wife. He's Miyagi. a Miyagi's a sleeper cell. Oh, he is. But so he, yeah, he makes his own a human weapon. Uh, <laughs> the, so the scene they're going to show here in a second, they'll describe it right after they go to the to the Cobra Kai's gym and challenge them to the tournament. And he goes, "You leave Boy him fight alone." In tournament. He goes, "You leave him alone until then." Yeah. The next day, he watch like Daniel Russo goes to school. He's like, "Hey, guys. remember they're all beat up for Mr. Miyagi." He's like, yeah. "Oh, hey guys, don't run in any front of any trucks and blah blah." Like, he fucks with them. Yeah, all right, you play. He is still in no danger. Nevertheless, he attacks Johnny, who merely steps aside, allowing Daniel to knock himself to the ground twice. Oh, yeah! Yeah! 
I mean, great move. I didn't do anything. But when Daniel refuses to let it go, Johnny must use force to end this violent outburst for the safety of everyone present. So what is Daniel's response to Johnny's non-aggression? Pow, a sucker punch right to the mouth. Johnny defends himself, as is his legal right, <laughs> and then de-escalates the situation by leaving the scene entirely. The next day in school, Daniel trips while playing sport ball. Rather than accepting sport that occasional ball. bumps and bruises will happen during playtime, Daniel instead externalizes the blame onto Johnny's friend Bobby and proceeds to ground and pound him, MMA style. Time out, time later, out. I just wanted to say this real quick. Fuck Bobby. I don't care what side he's on. He no, fuck big, Bobby. He was the biggest dick in, in, in the Karate Kid. No, he wasn't. Dino? The biggest dick was uh, the guy who ever screaming, yeah, get him a body bag. That that's, guy... Isn't that Bobby? That's not Bobby. Get him a body bag! Yeah. That's not Bobby. They all have feathered hair. It's hard. Yeah, right. It's the Dino, guy, Dino it's the guy, doesn't, though. It's the guy who's got those crazy, like, cheekbones. Like, uh, yeah. The, Even when he fights, he fights like he's going to make that noise the whole time. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, get him a body bag! Yeah, that is. I swear that's Bobby because it's the same it's kind not of Bobby. The same apology when he when he hits no, his knee. Bo he goes, "Sorry, Daniel." No, different guy. All right, we'll breaking. watch that scene to prove it. Yeah. Back <laughs> into the left. Go ahead. Later, Daniel attempts to enroll at a karate school, obviously intending to up his game so he can get revenge on Johnny. Put it this way: How would you feel if someone picked a fight with you, lost, and then went out the next <laughs> day and bought a gun? Well, that's exactly how Johnny feels when Daniel shows up at Cobra Kai. So he decides to send a message. Your violence will not be tolerated, <laughs> because Johnny knows what can happen when you teach karate to a person with a bad attitude. <laughs> Months go by, and no one bothers anyone. Clearly, this conflict is over. Until Daniel, unprovoked and for absolutely no reason, drenches Johnny with water in the middle of a school function, ruining his night. Pause. That irony he does! He really does, and he's rolling a joint. Which they're going to point out in a second, but they, uh, but that is like... He could have just left us alone. Like, he goes out of his way to do something bad. I know you're going to say, well, don't take shit, but, like, he's going at them also. If it makes sense, it's more even than it seems like it was in the movie. Did you go around crane kicking people? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, did you do it or not, Daniel? Well, did you do it or not? You going to fight in the tournament or not, Daniel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> People like me, we don't win. I don't know. I don't have a belt. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a belt. I don't have a belt. Though. Am I going to get out to watch WrestleMania? <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to be home in time to watch WrestleMania? I don't know. Daniel, defend, depends how far you go in the tournament. Did he do it or not? <laughs> Did Mr. Miyagi teach you evil karate or not? You're in the garage with him. <laughs> well, what would you see in there? Was there a bonsai tree? <laughs> Mom has no concern about the time he just starts spending with an, with an older man. Yeah. Go ahead, play. To injury, Johnny was at that very moment sparking up a J, which is sparking. just about the least violent thing you can do. A weasel snag to be. All right. But I digress. Daniel has crossed the line this time, and he knows it. After causing a multi-car collision, he flees <laughs> yeah. into the night. Holy there shit, I no forgot about that. There is no telling what further damage this unbalanced and violent individual will do. And once again, it falls on Johnny to contain Daniel's fury. <laughs> After local busybody, karate master, and child batterer Mr. Miyagi intervene, <laughs> Daniel convinces him that this is somehow all Johnny's fault. So they go to Johnny's sacred place, the Cobra Kai studio, and challenge him to yet another fight. Johnny accepts the challenge and even agrees to refrain from defending himself against any more of Daniel's unprovoked like aggression it. until the match. I like it. I like it. Daniel, of course, sees this as a license to continue to harass Johnny in public with impunity. I watch this. Hey guys, how you doing? It's good to see you. Hey, sorry about the eye there, Johnny. Shoulder okay, Tom? the guy on the right, oh, wait, the way. so wait, he just said his name. Back it up a little, Christine. He just says his name. No, he says Tommy. Tommy and Bobby. Tommy. Hey, shoulder okay, Tommy. 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 Tommy's the one that says get him a body bag. Right. The day of the tournament arrives. Johnny is there, defending his title. Daniel, meanwhile, is a danger to himself and others as he doesn't even know the basic rules of engagement. <laughs> All right, what are the rules here? Oh, no. To no one's surprise, Johnny advances to the final round, and Karma catches up with Daniel when his leg is injured by the boy he wantonly attacked on the soccer field. That's not true. However, just as Johnny is about to be awarded his trophy, Daniel is granted unnatural strength by the demon sorcerer Miyagi. <laughs> enabling him to defeat Johnny and win the tournament in an upset. 
Ever mindful of good sportsmanship, Johnny lets go of his sadness at losing, subjugates his ego, and personally presents Daniel with his tainted blood trophy. May you choke on it in your wet dreams, you rotten little prick. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please click like yeah. and hit I mean, subscribe if you'd like that? to. Yeah, that's great. So go to the. It's Jay Matthew. Yeah, he's the one that does. He does movies. Um, yeah, Jay Matthew. Jay Matthew Turner on YouTube. That's pretty great. It's great, and it is. It's a retelling of the Karate Kid. I mean, it's still. I see it from the side of Daniel Larusso. So you wanted to be Daniel Larusso so bad. I wanted so bad. Elizabeth Shue. I wanted a father figure that was also Asian. I never identified with him. I identified with him completely. I identify with Saturn movie, like Angus. I identify with <laughs> Angus. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't know if we should take this call. Steve in Texas has the Karate Kid, but there's that whole, there's that whole thing, a doc, you know, that, not the documentary, but that YouTube video. Oh, of all the problems that shows you, like, the quote, Karate Kid, not just the problems, the fact that, like, he David want, Russo is sort of the dick of the movie, if you really want. Yeah, to he's an aggressive back. kid from New Jersey. Not only that, he wins with an illegal kick. We did an episode about that, right? Where we talked about oh, yeah. He wins with an illegal kick. There's so many problems with that, The Steve. Karate Kid is call, probably... But, it, but it's, it's so full of flaws. Swiss. It's like he went into their school and fucked with like, everything. Yeah. He's, and then the one chance they tell him, they go, hey, you guys can't fuck with him at, at all until the tournament. And then the next day, he does. He goes to school. Yeah, and talk shit to him. Day. And he goes, Johnny, don't worry about it. They ain't going to do shit. Yeah, that's what he says. Elizabeth, she he was, was like, oh, hey, what happened? You guys get hit by a truck? Oh, better not go stand in front of any trucks anymore, fellas. Am I right? Eh, yeah. hey, you guys are a bunch of jerk offs. Anyway, uh, and he's like, yeah. to impress her. Right, and the girl's like, wow, they're all afraid of you, huh? It's like, he oh, goes, fuck yeah, this goes, kid. Yeah, mad powerful. They should have put Ralph Macchio in a uh, tracksuit. <laughs> like a Puma tracksuit. <laughs> hey, Stugatz, huh? Uh, hey, hey, it's Tommy and Johnny. What happened to hey, you? Hey, look, hey. look at these blonde bitches. What happened to you, boys? You get kissed by your daddy and his pecker? All right, <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey, Johnny, you see ex-girlfriend, right? Hey, too bad she's mine. By the way, I ain't got a bike no more. Hey, you know what? She doesn't smell like your dick at all anymore. It's crazy. That's how much I laid it down. Uh, nice headband. I cleaned out the cobwebs you left in there. Nice headband, Springsteen. See you at the All Valley. <laughs> see you at the All Valley. Bad news. I got a Jap from World War II teaching me some crazy shit. <laughs> he goes, I mean some real kamikaze moves. I mean, I'm telling you right now. I heard this guy in his sleep. I think he was on one of those death marches, but on the right side. You know what I mean? All right. My problem with Karate Kid is not in that uh, that little uh, video at all that I've always hated was him going from being like, I fucking hope the worst for this kid, yeah. Johnny, as much as he hates Daniel. Yeah. As soon as he gets kicked in the face, like they really make that video possible by having him immediately go, it's like, you know what, man? I don't know why we keep fucking with you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here's your trophy, dude. You're a good dude. Good special kick to my face. Like, he really just comes in and goes, you know what, man? F I have a shitty teacher who just tries to make us hateful. You're going to seem like an all right guy. Goes, but at the end of the day, always make Johnny seem like he's okay again. <laughs> he's like, yeah, God, that kick to the face really cleared some stuff up. And uh, I just want to say thank you for setting me free. But it is always so funny to me. There's evil karate classes in the world. You can go to a teacher who's like, "Guys, if you're here to just use karate as for defense, then get the fuck out of then here." I'm gonna you say like this. I, then I'm gonna say this. You better know some because you're gonna have to defend yourself getting to the door when you uh, walk yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. The first lesson is attack the weak, and yeah. if you don't want to use this to, to be aggressive, you might as well go home and take off the pants and wear that karate gi like a yeah. bitch's robe. Oh, because cool. I'll tell you, what. <laughs> sorry, we don't train geishas here. <laughs> We gotta get to that door. We're the stupid bike. Daniel, I hate you, you bike away because I felt like it, ma. She goes, "Well, I bought you that, and that's very rude." <laughs> I gotta learn karate, all right? Well, yeah, I, I just want to go home. That's it. I don't understand the rules. Yeah, I don't want to go home. What's the big deal? I want to go. Why can't I live with Uncle Salvatore? I just don't understand why you're not gonna let me go live with Uncle Sal. Why I gotta work at the sandwich shop. Ma, you treat me like a sugar, eh? Hey, mom, I move back to Flushing. I move to fucking. I don't care. Go to the garden. I don't give a fuck. I want to get out of here. These kids fucking suck. Yo, mom, it's a fucking cesspool here. It's fucking disgusting. I can't help you unless you tell me what's wrong. I gotta take karate. That's it. He's right. I that's gotta all go. it was. That's what solves every problem. And anytime there's a major man, move, man, the Karate Kid could have gone a different way if it wasn't made in the '80s. He goes, I need. A, if it's the '70s, it's the Karate Kid. He goes, I need a gun. <laughs> yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes, I need a piece. I can't. Well, this school, they're coming at me from all angles, man. And I'll tell you what, I found out the girl I'm fucking is the gang leader's ex chick. The fucking odds. He goes, Am I right? 
wait, can I fucking walk into a place and not be that guy for once? I don't know what it is. I it follows swear me. To God. The trouble follows me. I swear to God, just like your fucking stuffed raccoon. <laughs> it, it's a beautiful dish set up for me. When I come in here, I find some blonde California girl. She bobs my knob. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yes. I see this girl walk in. I'm like, mod on. I don't care if she's fucking the toughest guy in the school. I will take a swipe at this pig. I Comes know. to find out, ironically, <laughs> it was the fucking main gang guy's ex chick. Now turns I'm in out, a whole thing. Turns out, Beach Ninja was giving her the business before I showed up. I'm fucking there. They try to play some tunes. I try to put on some old blue eyes, you know, set the mood. This fucking guy throws a speaker. I'm like, did you just disrespect Frank Sinatra? Look, I'm trying to just get through fucking gym class. We're playing soccer. I don't get it. It's some kind of weird, like, Mexican hockey or something. I know. Next I might One of these fucking gabons comes in and fucking trips me in front of everybody, the whole fucking school. Hey, what am must... I going to do? I'm not going to take a couple shots to prick? And you remember, I told you this two summers ago when we was down in the sh at the shore. I got vertigo. This guy trips me. I ain't got nowhere to go but down. <laughs> he goes, look, it's the fucking Halloween thing. I don't want to be antisocial. I show up. I go, you know what? I'll wear. I'll dress like a shower. No one's even going to know who hey, I am. I like it. I like Turns privacy. out this fucking dumb slope makes me the biggest fucking shower costume. I am a sore thumb the second I walk into I the tell place. I go, what are you, you, fucking work for the theater department? I'm like a fucking setup there. I'm I like said, a whole fucking one-man show. I go, hey, Ching Chong, this thing goes bad. You going to yeah. fucking show up and save my ass? He says yes. I can't. Hey, I hey. take a man on his honor. Am I right? Half the time, I think this guy's just saying yes to fucking piss me off. <laughs> I swear my late mother got ma. Ma, God rest your soul. I swear to God, the kid, God bless my cross myself. The kid, God, God bless the kid, your mother's soul. The kid shows up, fucking defeats all these guys for me. I'm getting beat up because I'm wearing a shower curtain. I'm telling you right now. My Nona, God rest her soul. <laughs> She's looking down on me right now going, Daniel. <laughs> You're a fucking saint for not killing him. <laughs> so here's what I need. I talked to the fucking, you know, the Asian downstairs. He says he can't get me a piece. I think you can get me one. I, I'm going to have to file off the numbers, the serial numbers, to make that thing fucking, you know, street legal. <laughs> get this thing. Here's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to walk in the karate class. I'm going to take out the blonde one and the teacher. The fucking, you, kill, you cut off the head, the body dies. Am I right? <laughs> she goes, I'll be, you'll be walking around with that fucking headband around my knees. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to walk in here with, like the ultimate warrior with it around my fucking bicep. <laughs> Check out that cut. Oh, yeah, that is Johnny's dumb fucking headband. I get high. I get weed uh, from a friend in Vancouver, uh, Kevin. I get high. I go immediately to my room to watch Cobra Kai. Yeah, good call. Great call. And I watch... First, uh, oh, yeah, I know what happened. Yeah. First two episodes, I have a feeling I know what happens here. First two episodes of Cobra Kai happen, and I'm like, great, I'm gonna watch the third. I, I'm not registered for YouTube Red. Red. I try to sign up for YouTube Red. It's Canadian YouTube Red, so I can't sign up for it because <laughs> my credit card information. I'm trying to sign up for it. Oh, like, that's an American card, eh? Oh, what province are you from? <laughs> I go New York. The pro I don't know. It's a state, not a province. Oh, would you like to clear something before uh, you sign up for YouTube Red? And this is where the spin starts happening. This is where the weed spin starts happening. We're being high. This is where it gets scary and people don't realize it. Because now I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, all I want to do is watch the rest of, of the you season. You were going to be wrapped in the warm blanket of Cobra Kai and I now mean, you're just cold and alone. My favorite surprise of the year. My favorite surprise of the year, Cobra Kai. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, unbelievable. Without a doubt. And... I'm excited to watch it. It ends after two. I'm even texting you. I'm like, this is fucking unbelievable. You're like, hey, it's so great. How much fun is it? Um, doesn't happen. So I'm like, you know what? I'll put on Canadian Netflix. So I'm watching, you know, a moose cross a river. Oh, <laughs> Trailer Park Boys open their mail. Oh, look. Terrence and Philip, the movie. <laughs> the movie movie. The movie movie. Any character you think of when they're younger, they would have gotten, except the Lost Boys. They yeah. would have never gotten old, and they never die. Yeah. But everybody else, showing up would have been an oldest bitchy guy in the neighborhood. Well, dude, that's why Cobra <laughs> Kai was so great. Yeah. They just fucking took the Johnny Lawrence character and just did that. What just happens now is just some dude. It was brilliant. God damn it, it was brilliant. Can't wait for season two. Good job, Cobra Kai. They're doing it officially, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. After it that? It has to. I wouldn't be surprised if it got fucking picked up by a regular network. Dude, I bet YouTube is throwing them a gang of cash. I bet. I mean, we talked about it when we covered Cobra Kai, but I bet Elizabeth Shue shows up. Very possible. They. <laughs> I don't see why she wouldn't. It was a fucking hit. They're going to kick money into this. You know, it's funny. I can't remember which one it was, so I wouldn't even waste your time. Actually, we could probably find it pretty quick. But in the uh, in one of those Barbara Streisand specials yeah. on Netflix, 
they do a little skit for one of her songs mm-hmm. she does with a little girl. It's mm-hmm. how the concert starts. It's the big intro. A little girl being told by her mother, you know, she's not going to make it, I guess, as a singer, or she has to do it this way or that way. Yeah. Who's playing the mom? Mrs. LaRusso. I like that she's back in Cobra Kai. Yeah, that was great. That was a great cameo. They got to help you unless you tell me what's wrong. I got to take karate, that's it. You took karate. Out of the wide, a good school. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't but... solve anything. Oh, well, neither does palm trees, Ma. That's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair. That's a single mom go-to. That's I, not fair. I still don't have a good... You know, Christine, can you help me with this? I can't let her ask you this question. One day at a time. Where the fuck is Reseda? Reseda, yeah. It's the valley. All right. Is that bad? Wait, is that where they moved? They moved to Reseda? From they're, Jersey. Yeah, I thought they're, they're from, from Jersey. Jersey, dude. Oh, the whole thing was coming from Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, they start in the beginning of the show. It's them leaving Jersey, and all the fucking guineas are waving goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Those gindaloons all say those bye-bye. fucking pass the creeps. Good luck when you get out there. You're bringing that fruitcake into the lion's den. There I'll tell go. you that right now. Daniel I'm, is not ready. His dad has been gone. Me. And he has me. picked up all of your habits. It's Vincenzo LaRusso, your fucking number one uncle. Let me <laughs> tell you this right now. You move to Reseda, that kid's going to be chugging cock like it's his fucking <laughs> business. He is not prepared. And I have gotten wind from a little bird that there's a lot of teenagers out there taking evil karate. So <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I got a guy in Tijuana shows me my dope. He mails it to me. He says that these fucking kids in L.A. are beating the shit out of each other with some kind of karate, you know, yellow man syndrome, yeah. if you get what I'm saying. Some fucking loop-de-loo opened up a school out there. You turned a bunch of kids evil. Apparently some guy that did some greasy shit in Nam is <laughs> teaching these kids how to kill. I go, so I, you know, so I'm he did up. some greasy shit in Nam. I guess I he's some guy with a, let's just say, checkered pants. <laughs> Real quick. Quick, and you know I love you. You're my sister. Daniel's my nephew. Yeah, look out for these fucking... God bless bat. the kid. God if he bless. kisses Pickle, mwah, God bless him. I don't God care. Bless. He's my blood. I swear but. to God, though. I come out to visit in two years, and he's walking with jean shorts, hiked up his ass, asking yeah. for men to blow, yeah. to blow him for 20 bucks. I'll fucking pull him back to Kanasi myself. My fear, God bless his soul, to my pop. My fear is that I go out there to visit you and Reseda, and Daniel's asshole so blown out, he's running around SBDing up the whole barbecue. I, go, I can't I go, have I go, it. you left Jersey, my nephew, and California turned you into some sort of butt bowl blowfish. <laughs> I don't know, Doris. Why don't you send him the fucking evil karate then? Yeah. I don't know the fucking answers. Yeah. Move back home. They should have just done a whole show called The LaRusso's. Not fun, cool. I'm out of here. Hey, you hear about Janice's kid, Daniel. He's winning these fucking... Fucking these karate tournaments out in uh, California. I think we should move out there. It's got to be pretty profitable. He's hanging out with an old Chinaman. Lives downstairs, yeah. painting up his house. I think he's a little. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I think they might have a relationship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he called him his sensei. I almost smacked him across his face. I said, "What do you say to me?" He goes, "Listen, I used to drive trucks in Chelsea. I know what them boys call each other. <laughs> sensei is one. Of them. Hey, peacocks. <laughs> sensei. Enter the dojo. Boy, I get it. Boy, I wasn't." Boy, on the turnip truck, boy, boy toys. <laughs> I hope we never talk about the La- wink. <laughs> I hope we never talk about the Larusso's reflecting on Daniel's All Valley Under 18 karate. I, I wish we could do it for another half hour, but yeah. we're, we have to go. Yeah, he's like, dude, I do. I got a story for you. <laughs> he's his son. I got a call from her. The kid just won a fucking karate tournament. <laughs> yeah, the one that we thought was half a fun ghoul. You know what I mean? I saw the video. If I'm being completely honest, he cheated, but... Well, that's an illegal kick. It's okay. I don't know. All of a sudden, head kick's illegal. He goes, and, and oh. again, I just taught classes down at the Y. I'm Look, not making any work. I don't see nothing. I don't hear nothing. I don't say nothing. And, I'm just saying. And the God. Have some fucking honor. A little, uh. a little respect for the martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a tournament setting. What the fuck are you doing?